The kids at Bridge School Camp may not be able to speak, but everyone here has a voice. Most have cerebral palsy and come to Bridge School Camp to learn more about how technology can impact their lives. <laughs> Good job, Tommy. With the help of voice output communication devices, some campers are learning to speak for the first time. And here is my favorite counselor because she is sweet to me. Uh, she's sweet to you? Others have grown up with technology and are here to hone their skills. Do you want to hang out? All want to be heard. Hi, my name is Philip Cutch. I plan to go. I use my talker to talk to people. And I like the bridge school because of the teachers and my friends. Camp is organized each year by Bridge School, a Bay Area grade school specializing in assistive technology. Cassie Sementelli is the school's executive director. People constantly underestimate uh, what they understand. I think for many people, um, the inability to speak in their mind equates to the inability to think. It's through the communication that people finally get a glimpse of what's inside. I like camp because I get to spend a week without mom or dad telling me what to do. It all started 14 years ago with a benefit concert organized by Peggy and Neil Young. A vision prompted by their desire to create a school unlike any other for their son Ben, born with cerebral palsy. The new school would utilize emerging technologies as a bridge to the non-disabled world. Early on, we decided to focus on what he can do. Bernard and Ann Cacho say finding bridge school was a huge relief. It was like coming to paradise. If you, if you <laughs> thought of all the hopes and dreams and wishes you had for your child, um, you know, that was the place to get it. I like a bridge school because I can communicate with a whole lot of people here. People watch my eyes. They respect me. There are a lot of nice people here. They love me. They're always learning. If there's something new out there in technology for your child, these people are looking for it. Very good. You guys have all had Discover, right? Behind the scenes at camp, teachers yeah, and trainers yeah. from across the country work to better their skills so they can better the lives of their students. Whether it's through a hand switch or one mounted in a wheelchair headrest, if a child can reliably move any part of their body, including the pupil of their eye, they can access technology. Thank you. Bye, have a good night. Do your homework. <laughs> After studying at Bridge School, April Bryant transferred to public school and now is fully integrated at Thurgood Marshall in San Francisco. With the help of her liberator to communicate, April holds a 3.5 grade point average. In the beginning, I thought that students were going to be antisociable, but I was wrong. The students, as well as the teachers, were able to accept me even though I was in a wheelchair with a talking device. I would like to say that you can't just look at the outside of a person and judge them by the way they look. I just thought of myself as a regular kid. It's all about making the same kind of a camp experience for these children as you and I would remember our camp experiences. 